We're here at the Pitt Centre in Everton Valley for the latest of our Blue Crimbo, Blue Hero surprises. The 12 days of Blue Crimbo are well and truly upon us and we're going to find out now who today's recipient of the Blue Hero Award is. Oh, he's an incredible guy, honestly. Five years ago, Lee was homeless. He um, had a number of issues in his personal life in terms of addictions and um, he lived in the Whitechapel Centre, was supported by Whitechapel Centre for Supported Living and he's now totally turned his life around. He's working with us and he's helping on our memory loss programme. You'll see him coaching here um, with people from our homeless football team. He's just so dedicated to Everton in the community and he's made such a change in his life. I'm so proud of him and he thoroughly deserves this award today. He hasn't got a clue, has he? No. <laughs> Excuse me, can I just interrupt, please? Lee? Yeah. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Dave Unsworth. Yeah, no, Pleased to meet you. To meet you well, I, brought, um, I brought Denise and all the under-21 oh. lads in, and we'd, uh, we'd like to present you with this award and a few goodies as well for all the great work that you've been doing, all your volunteer work oh. and uh, we'd just like to say thank you for everything you've done. Lads, can we have a round of applause please? <laughs> what we'd like to do is our under 21 lads would like to take on all your lads now for a little game. I think we're ready for if them. That's all right, yeah. okay. surprise I was totally shocked to be honest flabbergasted is, I think uh, it's the word yeah five years ago I was like the lads here that's why I don't mind doing to anything for the homeless I mean because obviously I've experienced that myself so it's, uh, it's nice to be able to give back at the help of Everton Football Club in the community how much do you enjoy coaching these guys I love being with them like it's uh, seeing them like enjoy it you know football is like the only re really thing that they've got in the line so seeing them enjoying that's the main thing and what, what he's been through and, 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 and you know how he's come out of the other end of the tunnel it's just testimony to himself of you know the hard work and desire that he's shown and um, to, to come down here today and, and and you know to have a kick around with with all the all the all the guys it's just tremendous you know it's a great experience for us as well as the people here some of the lads live local so it's nice for them to come out in their own area and you know, back to how it used to be he's living with his partner now they've got a house you know things are really looking up for Lee um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure that you know it's just a onwards and upwards for him it's really good it, it's been marvelous and I've tried to say to a lot of the lads here as well you know, use him as an example you know Oh, it can be done. No, it, it's, it's not beyond your means. After meeting Guns in the Lads, Lee wanted to show us just how hard things have been for him. So he showed us where he used to sleep. Sometimes you just want to, you just lie anywhere and just fall asleep anyway. But if you've had a few drinks or whatever, but it's mainly comfortable, like say the grass or some, somewhere with a bit of space. So, some nights you're lucky to be alive when you, if you fall asleep, you're lucky to be able to wake up really. So. These are not the type of days that you want to be spending the whole nights on the streets. I said earlier on to someone, it's like sometimes I have to pinch myself, you know, like where my, my life was like six years ago to where it is today. Like living almost six years ago where I've got like, well, I've got a life beyond my wildest dreams at the minute. From sleeping rough, he's now turned his life around and he's focusing his efforts on making things better for young people going through the same ordeal that he did. Well done, Lee Johnson. And keep an eye out on Everton TV for the next recipient of a Blue Hero Award.